watching News 8 Now. I'm Tracy Sable. And I'm Steve Minnick. State police say one of the victims in a deadly crash just north of Caribou was pregnant. Four people died Monday when Kimberly Lagier of Madawaska tried to pass an 18 wheeler. Police say Lagier was pregnant. Her car crashing into a car driven by Bobby Joe Johnston of Fort Fairfield. Both drivers, Johnston's mother, and two year old daughter died in the crash. The only survivor, Lagier's husband, Robert, the crash is still under investigation. In Gorham, a propane truck rollover shuts down a busy intersection. It happened just after one this afternoon at the rotary where Brackett and New Portland Roads meet Libby Avenue. No leaks were discovered, but another truck had to be brought in to transfer the propane. The driver was not injured. A police in Winslow arrest a man they say stole thousands of dollars from a town athletic club. Investigators say that Charles Spalding embezzled more than $15,000 from the Winslow Travel Soccer Club. Officers say that he stole the money over the course of five years while serving as the club's treasurer. He is charged with theft by unauthorized taking and is due in court in June. An investigation is underway after a man accidentally shoots himself in the foot in Scarborough. It happened at a weapon craft sponsored firearms training course held at the Scarborough Fish and Game Club. Club officials say the man shot his toe on Saturday when the student was in a safe area where handling of firearms for any reason is strictly prohibited. Weaponcraft is investigating that incident. Our call to the Scarborough Police Department was not returned. And thanks for joining us here on News 8 Now. I'm Tracy Sable. And I'm Steve Minnick. Make sure to check back at WMTW.com and our mobile app for the top stories and weather anytime.